Hey, what's cracking everybody? I'm Jerry, I'm with Commander Crackback, and this is my first video. So what I wanna do is go a little bit over Command Fest since they're coming back in uh, 2022. So it's the 28th of May. I just registered for Command Fest Richmond, which is three to five June. So I've got mm, exactly a week until I go. So what I kinda wanna do was do a little mini vlog on my trip over there. So this video is kind of gonna go over uh, my goals for the whole entire trip and of course, which decks I'm making. So with that, let's get into it. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my goals for the trip. So number one, I'm making a vlog. I have new equipment. This is the first time I'm making a vlog, so I just really wanna go out there, catch footage and kind of capture a small piece of what is Command Fest and just share it with everyone. Number two is I want to build four commander decks. The next one, I am going to at least play two CDH decks. The next one is I'm a big fan of drafting. I'm a big fan of commander. So I'm really looking forward to drafting Command Legends Baldur's Gate. Uh, and then the last goal I have, is I'd like to talk with or interview at least one of the special guests. My top four are Olivia Gilbert Hicks, uh, Jim LePage, Noah Saldana, and then the last one is Joey Schultz. So yeah, those are my goals. And then now we are going to move into my decks for Command Fest. All right, hey, it's Jerry. Uh, it's 9.20 right now. I'm running about two hours late. It's about a two hour drive to Richmond. Uh, I got everything, as you can see in the back here. I got all my decks, my binder, and then some of my equipment, like my electronic stuff in this smaller bag here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and then I guess I'll see you guys there. Alright, we just got to Richmond. Uh, it was a two and a half hour drive. Current time is 12.30, so I think in half an hour there is a draft for Commander Legends, Baldur's Gate, so I'm going to try to hop in on that. Uh, yeah, so let's see how everything goes. Uh, we just sat down for Command Fest Richmond. I just registered for the Baldur's Gate uh, Commander pre-release. It's gonna start here in about three minutes, so we're just kind of waiting for things to happen. And yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. All right, the current time is uh, 4.57 p.m. I just got done my first uh, Baldur's Gate draft. Uh, drafting was fun. It started at 13 uh, and is now currently almost five. So that's about four hours to do one event. So it did take a little bit long. Uh, the drafting process was fine. My deck was okay. I split with one other person and then I got second place in the second one. Overall, not too bad. I had a kind of mill recursion themed deck. Uh, I'll show you right here, that was the commander. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty fun, but the thing I don't like about it is it, it just takes up a lot of time. Four hours for a, a draft, uh, it's just a little much. Uh, so probably not going to do my second one, we'll see. Uh, I kind of want to get in some like just casual co commander games, and yeah, we'll see what happens.
Hey, so I'm here with Level Up Games with John and Justin, the two J's, right? Uh, so I've been here for about an hour. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to one of my vendors that's uh, in my backyard, Glenn Burney. So you guys are gonna answer some questions. I'm here with uh, Taffy Toe Claus. I'm here with Nick. Here with Olivia Gobert Hicks. Uh, thank you so much, Taffy. I really appreciate it. Do you want to shout out your socials or anything? Yeah, I'm Taffy Toe Claus on everything. I'm the loud science dinosaur on the internet. Um, yeah, on pretty out. much everything. I am at Nick and Prince. And yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter or whatever you can. Um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Gobert Hicks. My last name G O B E R T H I C K S. And then on uh, twitchtv Affinity Artifacts. Hey everybody, I just got finished Command Fest Richmond. Uh, it's 9.20, so I'm doing my post recap. So I'm gonna quickly go into everything that I did today and then um, kind of like how I viewed everything and what I liked and what I didn't like. So, so number one, I did the Command uh, Legends Baldur's Gate pre-release draft. Uh, the set doesn't release to the 10th and I, it's currently the 4th. So being able to get hands-on cards six days before the release is a unique experience. If you've never done a pre-release event, uh, I would recommend doing one just because of that feeling alone. The format itself, it's a little bit too long for me. I spent three hours and I played two games. When you do this draft, you have to, you have to think about the cards differently in terms of like, what should I pick, right? Because in normal drafts, your removal spells are pretty premium, right? If I'm playing one-on-one -on -one and I can use one spell that's worth, I don't know, three mana to destroy a creature that's seven mana, that's a pretty good return. But in three-player, multiplayer, I'm you're down a card to the two other players who you didn't remove stuff with. So the evaluations of the card are a little bit more difficult. The drafts were slow. Games were also slow. Kind of had to just deal with what you're giving and make the best energy out of that, um, which is normally fine in draft. But when you put in the multiplayer aspect, uh, you can't, again, we talked about it, you can't just remove one person's stuff and like your head, right? Probability of you playing a bomb and someone having a remove spell for that bomb is a lot, it's three times higher, right, than normal because you have three opponents unless you like get like a bomb and you drop it and no one can deal with it right away the games are going to go out long one other thing is with the pre-release um if i were to do it again i would not finish the second game uh the tickets weren't worth it i still have them in my pocket i didn't cash them out i got sidetracked um, i was having a great time it was nine before i ever knew it so next time I'm, i would probably just do the draft play the first game and then dip out i got into talking with a lot of the cosplayers right uh olivia nick and taffy or sydney were all awesome we talked off camera uh, nick gave me a lot of pointers in terms of like uh producing content um and all that stuff while the rest of the gang were taking pictures so thanks nick i really appreciate that Olivia is cool. Taffy was cool. Um, so yeah, they're really good people. Uh, a lot of people, I think, kind of get get nervous around these kind of celebrities in the magic realm. But at the end of the day, they're all people. They're there to have a good time. Um, so a lot of times, they they like talking with people. They like sharing their experience. Um, they like being there and meeting up and talking and having a game. So uh, don't be intimidated if you want a picture. Um, they're really, they're all really cool and they're super nice. So overall, uh, really the only thing I would have changed um, is coming in at the time it opens. Obviously it gives you more uh, time to do the things that you want to do, play magic. Uh, and the second thing is I would have like to bring some of my friends uh, all my friends had previous obligations uh, weddings work um, one of my friends moved states so they weren't able to 
actually participate. So uh, next time in Philadelphia, I've got two friends coming, so it should be more fun. Uh, if I do another command draft, I'm only going to do the first part of it, and I already explained why, so I can have more time uh, playing, you know, just pick up games. And then the overall experience was awesome. Uh, if you have time to go to Command Fest, uh, I would make the time. You know, if you're looking for cards that are rare or like you're looking for like blinged out pieces that you need to like finish out your decks, Command Fest the best time. There's like six, seven vendors. Uh, you can get cards draw or cards signed. So yeah, it's a really fun event. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. I'm looking forward to Command Fest Philadelphia. Thanks to everybody who sat down and played with me, spoke with me, um, who gave me interviews. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, and that's going to be the video. This is Jerry from Command Crackback. Have a good one. Peace.